This video is going to give a quick rundown on how to work out the area of a triangle and also how to the different types of triangles that exist. Now, as always, this video clip is available at the YouTube channel for the school. So the first thing we should get clear is what is a triangle? Now a triangle is a, a geometric shape, um, a three-sided shape, and if you look at this tree here you can see the, the three different sides of it. There's this side up here, there's that side down there, and then there's the third side along here. Um, it has three corners or vertices, uh, and uh, in the diagram down here on the left this is a vertice, that is a vertex actually, my apologies, and so is that. A triangle also has three internal angles, and when you did uh, angles and triangles earlier in the year, you would have seen this. That's one, two, and this is the third one down here labelled A. So a triangle has three sides, three vertices or corners, and has three internal angles. One thing to get really clear is what is area? When we're talking about the area of a triangle, what is area? And area is the amount of space that something covers or takes up. So a way to look at this would be to think of a tablecloth, and the area of a tablecloth would be the, you know, the area of the table, the amount of space that's covered by the tablecloth. Area works in two dimensions, um, for example, length times width or height times width. For just have a quick rundown through the dimensions. You know, this dot here um, has no dimension. A line going left to right like this has one dimension. Something that goes left and right, like that, is said to have two dimensions. And three dimensions obviously would be a uh, three-dimensional shape, such as a cube, that I'm going to try and draw here. Keep in mind I'm a maths teacher, not an art teacher. So you've got no dimensions, one dimension, two dimensions, where area fits in, and three dimensions. Three dimension tends to talk about volume, which we'll get to later. So, to work out the area of a triangle, there's a formula. Now, a right angled triangle, now, if you look here on the left hand, uh, right hand side, sorry, there are two right angled triangles. We know they're right angled triangles because they have a 90 degree or right angle in them. Now, the area of a triangle, if you look closely, if you put these two triangles together, you'd get a square or a rectangle. Either way, you get a four sided shape. And the area of a rectangle we know from primary school is length times width. So, if a triangle or a right angled triangle is half of a rectangle, we should say that the area of a triangle is one half times by the base times by the height. Now, I'm going to say H for height and down the bottom here B for base. So the area of a right angled triangle is a half times the base times the height, where H is how tall it is and the base is along the bottom here. Like I said, a triangle is half a rectangle, so that's where that formula comes from. There are some other types of triangles that you should be aware of though. An obtuse triangle is looking like this. And just to be clear, this bit in here is the triangle that we're looking at. Now when you're working out the base of this kind of triangle, the base is easy. The base is the bit at the bottom, which in this case is said to be 5 inches. Now the height of this triangle, however, is from the base down the bottom straight up, perpendicular to the base. This line here that runs up at an angle is not the height. To work out the height of a triangle you have to look at, an, at a line that is perpendicular to the base. So you find a line that's perpendicular to the base even if you have to invent it like we have here with dashed lines and then you take that as the height. That's for an obtuse angle. Another obtuse triangle, sorry. Another type is what's called an acute triangle down here. Now an acute triangle is quite similar except that there is this acute angle over on the right hand side here. In this case the height of the triangle is not the length of this side on the right hand side but it is the height or the length of a line that runs perpendicular or at right angles to the base. The base in this case is 15 inches and the height is 4 inches. Just finally before this finishes, to remind you that the area of a triangle is equal to one half whoops, times by base times by height. 